Hello, Moore County, and welcome to the basic tutorial of 3D Tin. 3D Tin is a free website that you can use to create 3D images or 3D models. You can access 3D Tin by going to 3dtin.com. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the basics of how to create a 3D image or a 3D model that you can use uh, to enhance your instruction. There are two basic toolbars that uh, are available on 3D Tin. There'll be one across the top and one along the side. The one along the side is going to be the toolbar you will use to create your 3D shapes. Um, the first tool will give you some basic options um, of 3D shapes that are available. So we're just going to select, select one and it will give you different templates that you can use that uh, suit your needs for what you are teaching. We're just going to choose the first, first one we see and we will drag it and drop it onto our grid. Once we've selected our, uh, our first image, you can continue to add other geometric figures if you, if you would like, depending on the model or the image you are creating. Also, you will have a, a cube button if you would like your students to build towers um, or uh, you're trying to create a different image, just depends on uh, the idea that you're trying to teach with 3D concepts. Underneath that, you'll have your basic editing tools, which will be uh, first your erase tool, your selection tool. Now using your selection tool will allow you to actually edit any of the images you've already created. By double clicking on it, it'll bring up an additional toolbar where you'll have different options to either rotate, uh, rescale or resize your image, flip, shear the edges, duplicate, or again, uh, delete your picture if you no longer want it. Underneath uh, your erase tool, you'll have two different options um, for changing the color. One will be a paintbrush and one will be an eyedropper. Both can change the colors of your image. Um, it just depends on which tool you'd like to use. And by clicking on our color, we can immediately change the color of our 3D picture. In addition, you can also view or uh, pan your picture and change the viewpoint. Uh, just kind of depends on how you would like to teach it and the different model that you are trying to create. On the bottom, these are some more advanced tools. These will assist you with symmetry, lighting. You also have the ability to uh, either use a grid or not have a grid uh, on your 3D image or 3D model. And then up top are going to be your basic tools for sharing and for saving. Uh, this first tool, your page tool, will uh, allow you to create a new model or a new image. The folder will allow you to open any images you've already saved to your 3D10 account once you've created one. And then your save tool will allow you to save your image. <clears throat> once you save your image, you can always go back and work on it at any other time. It'll just be in uh, your folder and you can access it at any other time. So these would be all of your sketches that you've created. Those are the basics of 3dtin.com. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have um, any needs to want to get some further instruction on creating a specific 3D image or 3D model, please see our advanced tutorial on 3D Tin, and we hope you find this useful and can use it in your instruction. Thank you.